Hello my friends and welcome to the weigh-ins. Look at this crowd. First to the scale we have Lois the Lion Muir. That's 137 for the challenger, Lois Muir! And next to the scales is Pistol Pete Muir! Just about to do a, a Zwift workout. It's Sunday, so it's going to be uh, a nice and steady zone two, which Peter hates, but it's just an easy one. Get the endurance up. So this is the pain cave that we've got. It's our spare bedroom. Um, we've got our two bikes on the collapsed uh, bed. I've got my spare bike, spare trainer, ironing board, main thing that you need when you're in your pain cave. I've got my Cervelo R2 on the Tax Neo. Um, I've got a nice sort of blanket down there, save the, the carpet from all the oil and grease. Got TV connected to Zwift, window wide open, and then the mirror. You kind of look in the mirror when you're sat on here, your belly's all like Ugh, scrunched over and it just encourages you to eat better and lose a bit of weight. So I'll start the workout. I've just set off and um, I've got my Wahoo heart rate monitor on because I want to keep an eye on what my heart rate's doing. So for me zone two on the bike I don't really want to go above 145 if I can help it. But box wise I'm not really bothered. is the essentials that I feel I need when I'm doing a Zwift workout. Firstly, my window wide open, um, you know, decent clothing, I've got my padded shorts on, I have got my water, or sometimes I might have coconut water, I might have, I don't know, sports drink, something to replenish the electrolytes. I have a headband, that. So when I start to get sweaty, I want to keep my hair out of my eyes. I've got the Apple remote for if I want to use any of the speed up things. Um, I've got a van here, which I don't turn on straight away. I wait until I'm starting to get a bit sweaty, so then I feel the benefits of it. I have my phone over here if I want to start playing some YouTube. And then depending on how long I'm going to be on the bike. Some fuel. One of the most important things is like a towel or something like that. We'll address the elephant in the room. This you're going to be seeing quite a lot of. I just don't like wearing loads of clothes on the bike. My six packs in the post. Hopefully this Ironman training should be here soon. Anyway, I'm going to get it on with my ride. <laughs> when I haven't been on Zwift for ages which is what I was like 
last week. I get a little bit excited to then go back on Zwift and I do enjoy it. And then I imagine in a couple of months time, the excitement will soon fade. It's time for the fan. But I don't like it on me all the time, so I have it where it's flapping. So I'm 14 minutes in, enjoying it so far. And my legs feel actually quite good, even though I did uh, an eight mile run yesterday. And I did a swim and then I rode alongside Peter when he did his run. So I had quite a good sleep last night and sleep is so important when you're trying to recover. It's just dawned on me today why Zwift is in Paris, or friends even, because of the last day of the Tour de France. And I've quite enjoyed it this year, catching up with it. Um, it was yesterday's time trial was pretty awesome. I took at you, managed to sort of bring back nearly two minutes on Roglic and take the tour. Well, I was happy for Richie Port to get on the podium. Not that he's English, but they were talking about how much bad luck he'd had, so. I thought it was nice that he finally got on the podium and shame not to see Gerard Thomas and Chris Room there. Sprint time! I'm tired. So last couple minutes trying to bring my heart rate down a little bit as you can see it's about 138 if I can get that down to about 130 just as a little bit of a cool down and then just to relax just want to show you how incredibly sweaty I am Ugh. Sign of a good workout. Now to have a shower and I think Pete's coming on the bike. Alright, thanks Lois, that was awesome. Now for my turn. <sighs> An hour to go, wish me luck. Right, I've signed up to a Zwift race. It starts in 13 minutes, so I've got a bit of warm-up time. I'm on the TT bike today, which doesn't really go well with Zwift, but uh I'll give it a go. It's the only one I've got at the moment. Uh say hello wife. Uh, so, wish me luck. I won't be going hard. This is my first Swift, uh, Zwift race this uh, this year, so I won't be doing that hard. And I won't be going with the leaders either. So yeah, here we did. go. So I'm in the starting pen. I'm dreading this a little bit because I know it's going to hurt, but just got to grin and bear it because I'm going to feel good about it when I finish. Halfway through, top 50, not bad, I'll take that all day. As you can see guys, I got dropped, but 0.3 of a mile to go to the finish, 50th place, I'll take that on the first whiff back. Fiftieth place, not bad. I'll take that all the way to the end, and that's it. All done. Okay, that's the last of it. Whew. D minus for that performance. Wasn't my best at all. Right, that's a hard Zwift session done, and I suppose it's the end of the video. So, if you want to watch episode one, introduction to the athletes, that's me and this one. Uh, click, click up here. And if you want to watch episode two, click up here. Um, give us a big thumbs up and like the videos. Uh, click and subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment in the bottom, that would be great. Or if you want us to cover anything in future videos, then just tell us what you want to see. All right, high five. Uh, big tens. Ugh. You always have to take it too far, don't oh, you? Oh, come on. Shocking.